What up family, it's Sarah back with a new video. Wanted to make a really quick video on how I actually set up my SP404SX for my live performances. Gotten a lot of questions about just how I set up my performances and I guess how I do it. And I don't know, I feel bad for kind of doing this video because there's videos online about how to set up an SP404SX, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just show you guys what I like to do. So let's get into it. The first thing, of course, with an SP404SX, P 404 SX in this particular model not the, the original one the one with the SX the reason why I purchased the XX is because it has an SD card slot so I have an SD card this one has 32 gigabytes of storage what you have to do first is formatted on here on your um, your SP404 pop this baby in here and this is already formatted with already a bunch of stuff in it but I believe to format it you turn it on you hold the cancel and remain I believe and hit one of these buttons then hit delete and then it deletes everything after you have formatted your SD card you're gonna pop it into your computer once you pop it in your computer it should say SP404 as and I'm going to drop the link on the bottom of the description for this program is from Roland. It's called the SP404SX Converter. So you're going to open that program up. What you're going to want to do is make sure that when you have this program open that you have SP404SX selected as the car drive and then you get to choose whatever bank you want to put your music on. So if you notice on your SP404 you have 10 banks A through J and you have 12 pads per bank. So I'm in bank I and I'm going to go pick, you know, a few different songs for this, uh, for these pads. So for an example, you get to choose the first one or whatever one. So for an example, when they're empty, they're going to be white and when they're full, it's going to be red, which means the song is loaded into the pad. So right now there's nothing loaded into these pads, but for another example, these all have songs, you know, uh, bank H has 12 songs loaded into them, but I has nothing in there, so we're gonna go to uh, bank, bank I, pad one, and hit import. And we're gonna go to a folder that has a bunch of my music in there. I'm just gonna pick one and just upload it. So we're gonna find it. I'm gonna select it, hit open. And as you see, it's loading bank I, pad one. And once that's done, it's going to be red, and you can preview it by clicking on it. It's there. <laughs> it's pretty loud. But, um, you know, you'll continue to do that for the rest of your banks, so you can load up up to 120 different sounds on your SP404SX. So that's how I load my music, so I just load up whatever I want in the order I want. So, you know, I can put a different song, put a sample in here. Just like I said, you just want to organize your music in a folder beforehand, so it is a lot easier for you to organize. And once you're done, you can hit this exit key. And you're also going to want to make sure you eject your SD card properly. Boom, boom. Now that's out the way, you can pop your SD card into your SP404. So you got your SD card loaded with your amazing beats and your sample. Now you're going to load it up into your SP404. So. Let's see if it actually works. So these are pr these are pretty much the sounds that I have loaded up for my set right now. I load up a sample. My first button is an introduction. is Don Cornelius for Soul Train uh, introducing Aretha Franklin. And it's the almighty queen of soul once again with an invitation to all of us and to all of you to rock steady the fabulous the So basically, for the first two I just press them down with my fingers because uh, I just have them on gate and you know as I press the button it'll stop playing but uh, if I want to actually hold the song I'm actually my preference right now is to hold the button down and then hold have actually press the hold button down so once I want to play the song that's what I do and then afterwards I press the same button as the pad that's playing and then I release up the whole button and then press the next button so for an example I'm going to play a little piece of this song and then I'm going to switch to the next song so just watch what I do That 
that's one way of transitioning for me like i said hold one So another way of transitioning between one beat from another beat is um, for me hitting the MFX and then doing either a reverb or a tape echo. So that kind of sounds like this. So did you see that? Also transition using um, the DJ FX <laughs> DJ FX looper button, which allowed me to kind of adjust the pitch and kind of slowly make the song slow down and then I just stop stopped it and then press the next button for the next song so those are kind of my three or four go-to ways of transitioning like I said one is just going from one song completely stopping it and then going to the next song the next one is either hitting reverb or tape echo and then transitioning to the next song so Another example for that, I'll do the reverb, so... other ways that's just kind of like my three or four ways of transitioning between one song to another but I just bought this SP404 recently there's so much more that I've learned about it this is the main reason why I purchased it it's just to do live sets on it but of course I'm learning how to start to do beats on it completely with hopefully not even using my computer we'll figure out when that time comes but for right now I'm loading all my beats into the SP404 I mess around with all the, the effects and then I just go from one beat to another and that's it. I don't have to bring a computer to my set. I don't have to do anything else. It's pretty pretty legit. It's pretty solid. It's pretty simple. Hope this helped anyone that was asking me questions about how I do my set. But um, if you guys have any questions about anything else, please comment below. Hit that, that like button. Smash that subscribe button. I love you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Have a great week. Hey, hey. Bow, bow. Camera. Killer.